Hello, Jonathan Landeros of Kativ Technologies, and in this week's video, I'm going to show how you can use dimensions to position a section view inside of Autodesk Inventor. First, the most common way of creating a section view. Here I have some views created. I go ahead and choose my section view icon, choose my view, and then by hovering without left clicking, I can choose different parts of the geometry that I want to base my view on. By hovering in the correct spot, I can project a midpoint, a center, or a quadrant, for example. Place my view and use those to create and position the section view, dropping the view into place. Inventor goes ahead and builds constraints based on that construction line so I can accurately place off of one of the points on the view. That's one way. But what about a case where we don't have a piece of geometry that we can easily use? What if I want to use a dimension, for example? There's an easy way to do that. And that's what I'm going to show next. What I like to go ahead and do is choose my section view, select my view, and then purposely draw the section line away from the geometry so I don't accidentally pick geometry and constraint by mistake. Now I place my view, which will look just like a projected view based on my selections. But now I can go ahead and I can drag the section line and position it anywhere on the view I want. But now it's not placing accurately. So how do I place it accurately? I can do that by right clicking on the section line and choosing edit. That's going to open up the sketch that the section view is based on. I can use project geometry to select different geometry off the view and project it onto my sketch plane. Once that geometry is projected, I can use constraints or in this case dimensions and dimension to the section line and give it a precise dimension that I want to use. Using finish sketch, I can go ahead and complete that and now the line is accurately positioned. And at any point, I can right click and edit that again and use the dimension to reposition the geometry. So there it is, another way of placing geometry using dimensions instead of just grabbing the projected line. Definitely an alternative that you can take advantage of. That's it for this quick tip. Thanks for watching and have a great week.